What is up YouTube, this is PZZSEN here, and today I wanted to show you guys a little something that I got for my birthday. Yep, a week ago from today in fact, January 17th, 2015, I turned 21. Holy crap, it is so hard to believe that I am now 21. And no, for those of you who are wondering, I have not had any alcoholic beverages yet. I know a few of you are thinking, what? When I turn 21, dude, I'm going to have, I'm going to have party. I'm going to have all the alcoholic beverages ever. I'm going to get drunk and whatever the hell, whatever, whatever else happens whenever you turn 21. I don't know. Um, it's just not my style. Uh, <laughs> just, I don't know. I'm perfectly fine with not having any beer. Now that isn't to say I'm not going to drink beer ever. I will definitely partake in some beer sometime this year. In fact, I'm looking forward to inviting some of my friends to dinner and then uh, trolling them by ordering myself some beer, making them jealous. So <laughs> I'm looking quite forward to that. It's just uh, I need to get started on that because a few of my friends are actually 20. So <laughs> yeah, they'll be 21 this year. So anyways, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and let's check out this thing. This is actually the only real physical object that I got for my birthday, the only physical tangible gift. Everything else I got was basically money, and that's greatly appreciated, and that money is going to go towards something awesome that you guys are going to definitely want to make sure you stay tuned for. Uh, I'm looking quite a bit forward to it, so yeah. Anyways, this is this came from my grandmother, all right? She got this pen back in 1999, so it is a bit of an old pen, and yes, it is a pen. She got it back in 1999, and she only used it like three times, and uh, that's a bit of a shame, and she decided that since I am quite a bit interested in, in pens and, you know, stuff like this, she figured I might get a little bit more enjoyment out of it than she did, so I am greatly appreciative of that, and I can tell you right now, I will be using the crap out of this pen, all right? So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and let's check this out. So, right now it's inside of this leather pouch. I don't actually believe this pen came with this pouch. This actually, if I go ahead and open it up, you can see there's the pen right there. You'll see on the uh, inner flap here that we've got Delana. All right, now Delana, I, they, they're a leather company. They still exist if you look them up. Uh, they seem to make laptop cases and phone cases, and I believe they do still make these pen cases. I don't know. I, I need to go to their actual website, but from a Google image search, I saw a bunch of these popping up. So if you're actually interested in this pen case, so you uh, go to Delano's website and check it out. But anyways, let's go ahead and take this out. And as you can see, the pen itself is green to match the case. So that's a nice detail. Let's go and let's put this off to the side. And let me show you the pen itself. Now, part of the reason why I have this wonderful white background, all it is is actually some printer paper, uh, is because this it makes it a lot easier for this camera to focus on. Because this camera, I mean, you can practically see that it's it's the focus is like following the pen. So a little bit of a tip for you iPhone filmers out there, a, a, a clean white background is just, it's autofocus heaven. I mean, my God, just look at, well, just look at that. Holy crap. Anyways, this is the Waterman Preface. Okay. Unfortunately, it is a discontinued model but you can actually still find them on the internet, and I'll, I'll try to link one in the description. Uh, they're not that hard to find. If you do a quick Google search, you should be able to find it. So if you're interested, check it out. I don't know how much, how many are still in production, but I mean, as of right now, like I say, they're not that hard to find. This is actually known as the Escapist Green, which you can see, all it is is green lacquer. They took this, dumped it in green lacquer over and over again until they got this nice thick coating. And it's, it looks awesome. As you can see, there's just some mixtures of blacks and some mixtures of greens in there. A color combination that I happen to be a huge fan of. I love green. Green is actually one of my favorite colors. Fun fact. So, yeah, let's check out this band. Uh, let's check this out. So, uh, right here, below the cap, you can see we've got Waterman Branding. All right, that's how they spell the name, Waterman. And this is the pocket clip. Now, on the pocket clip, you'll see we have the Waterman logo. A very, very nice logo, as you can see. It's just a W with a curly Q on it, pretty much, and it's in a hexagon. And, uh, yeah, very interesting pocket clip. It doesn't, you know, when I first got the pen, I was like, wow, that's a weak pocket clip. Takes, like, next to nothing to bend it. But then I looked at it and noticed, actually, I looked at it in one of my previous takes and noticed that it actually seems to be on a hinge. There's, like, a hinge somewhere right around here. I'm assuming there's an internal spring in here somewhere. And, uh, yeah, it actually pivots. So we're not actually bending the pocket clip itself. Is on a hinge. That is a very, very nice detail, and I am a very big fan of that design. I like that. There's the top. We just got this, um, you know, this black hexagon on it. And on the bottom, we just got this nice, polished, well, dome-looking thing. Hello. 
All right, so let's check out the, uh, let's actually check out the tip here. Now, there are rollerball versions of this, which this one is. There's also a ballpoint version of this, and then there's a fountain pen version. It seems that the fountain pens are the more popular ones that they make, so you might have a harder time finding the rollerball. I'm not really sure. But there's the top, or I guess the nib, as it's called. We got this nice, shiny bit here, and there's the fine point itself. Very fine indeed. You can see a little bit of a sample right there on my finger, apparently. A little bit of black lacquer for a grip. It's not really all that grippy. It's a little slick, but it does work. And yeah, and there you go. In terms of the actual pin itself, it's really nice. The build quality on this thing, it, it feels incredible in the hand. I love it. And uh, the lid, for those of you who are wondering, does snap on the back, but it does take a little bit of extra force uh, than you would think. When I first got the pin and was playing with it, I was like, oh, crap. You know, now I'm going to have to set the pin off to the, the lid off to the side like that when I'm riding with it. And I could lose it, and that would be awful, and I would hate that. But then, um, a little bit later on, I was actually using the pin, and I discovered that it takes a little bit more effort than you would think to click it on there. So that's awesome. As you heard, it does click on there. All right, and when it's on there, it's not coming off. No way. Which is awesome. So I'm a big fan of that. Nice design there. The same goes for here. I believe this black band around the tip there is actually something for it to click on too. So that's cool. Nice. And it's a very satisfying little snap as you hear. Now let's actually check out the insides of the pin now. So unscrewing it. And here we go. Set that over there. And woo. <laughs> so this is actually just friction fit into the top here. So let's take that out and set that over there. And as you can see, goodbye, Waterman Fine Roller Point Metal 95. I believe that is a date. Yes, this is a, if that's true, then yes, this is actually made in 1995. And it actually still works beautifully, as you'll soon see. Made in France. Yes, Waterman is based in France. And they are very, very fancy. Now, just as a quick size comparison, here we have a Fisher Space Pen insert next to the Waterman insert. And as you can see, the Fisher Space Pen insert is not only considerably thinner than the Waterman insert, but it's also quite a bit shorter. If I get this flat, you can see that. So unfortunately, you can't really interchange uh, the Fisher's insert with the Waterman insert, but that's really nothing that most of you are probably concerned about. I was just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, size comparison because I'm sure some of you are probably wondering. Yeah, this is a very, very big, very massive uh, pin insert. So no Fisher Space pin interchangeability, unfortunately. This just fits back in here. All right, a little bit of a push, no real satisfying clicks or anything. Uh, again, friction fits, and then we can screw this back on. Very nice threading, by the way. And also something else I forgot to mention, everything on here that is gold is actually gold plated, okay? Everything that's gold in color is 18 karat gold plated, which is just awesome. It's a very, very nice detail, and I love it. I'm sure you guys would like to see a quick writing demo. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've brought an index card right here. So let's go ahead and see what this pin can do. And I'm going to try not to move this paper around because that would look really bad. So now my handwriting is not the greatest. All right, you can see we've got, hello YouTube. And as you can see, very, very nice uh, ink consistency. Decent flow. I mean, the uh, the flow, uh, it, it's not, it, I mean, it, it looks okay, but, you know, from a distance, it actually it looks really nice. Uh, hello, YouTube, and we can uh, go ahead and let me flip this over here. And, uh, hello. I don't have any good handwriting, I do apologize, so... Hello YouTube, this is Oh, that's supposed to be an exclamation part. Um am writing this using a Waterman uh, Preface, I forgot the name. <laughs> preface Rollerball 
pen. Awesome. This is really bad handwriting, especially if I'm going to be showing this to some pen aficionados out there. I do apologize. Uh, yeah. Check it out. Very nice writing. Uh, this is pretty close to college ruling on this index card, so... Yeah, I screwed that P up because I was kind of writing something else, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, very, very, very nice. Another test I see a lot of people do uh, when it comes to pens is this. Kind of do this weird connected cursive S uh, pattern. So, it handles that alright, as you can see. So, let me give you guys my final impressions on this pen. It's a very nice pen indeed. There's one small problem though. It isn't cheap. It's a hundred dollars. Yeah, a hundred dollars. So if you like this design, and you can find it on the internet, it's going to cost you around a hundred dollars. They do make other designs that are going to cost more or less depending on the design. Uh, this one I think is right around the average pricing for these things, a hundred bucks. I can tell you right now though, it is worth a hundred dollars. This thing is incredibly, incredibly nice quality. I mean, the sol it's, it's very solid in the hand. It feels wonderful. It's a little bit weighty, but it's not like, it's not heavy, but it's not light either. It, 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 it feels just, it feels just right, honestly. It, it's not like, oh, this is heavy, it's gonna be really pa painful to write with. No, it's comfortable, I love it. And uh, when the lid's on the back here, nice, again, nice balance to it. Let's see, I don't want it to fall or anything, but that's nah, not gonna work. But again, it's just, it, it's very comfortable. Now, a lot of you know that I do happen to be a big fan of the Fisher Space Pen, and I can tell you this is a $20 pen, all right? It feels very nice. It feels like it's high quality, but if you compare it directly to something like this, which is five times the price, like five times more expensive than the Fisher Space Pen, this thing does feel a little bit cheap, a little bit chintzy. I mean, again, it, it feels wonderful in the hand. It's wonderful to write with. It's, I mean, I'm not going to do a writing demo for you guys because it's actually almost out of ink, so that's not a really fair comparison, but, you know, it feels it feels really nice, uh, but again, com in comparison to this, this has, I mean, this is a, it's a lighter pen, this one is, but, um, I don't know, it's just something about it. it, doesn't feel nearly as high quality as something like this, like this one doesn't have any, like, rubber o-rings on it that will deteriorate over time, for instance, you know what I mean, as you continue to close this pen, you know, the friction of rubbing of the uh, rubber o-ring on there is going to wear the o-ring out, and uh, that o-ring is necessary to hold that lid in place. So, yeah, and also it's kind of a specialized o-ring because it does have a slit cut into it that enables for air to escape when you're closing it. Because if it was just a solid o-ring, you push it on, the lid would just pop right back off because of the air pressure. So, there is that too. So, again, there's nothing on here that will necessarily deteriorate like that. Everything is either metal or plaster, which is awesome. And probably a little bit of plastic in here too, I'm not really sure. But... I feel like it really does live up to the premium cost. So, I am a big fan of this pen. Um, but then again, I'm not really a pen expert. So, you know, take my opinions with a grain of salt, I suppose. Uh, make sure you do your research before you buy something like this. Uh, Waterman is still around. They do still make pens. Unfortunately, they don't have this awesome green color. They seem to be obsessed with the color blue lately. In fact, literally. Uh, if you look at their one of their newer lines, is actually literally called Blue Obsession. So, yeah, you'll you, the blue their uh, their blue pens are definitely nice, and they also have again a dump, bunch of different other colors. But if you want the green pen, you're gonna have to go a little bit um, into the discontinued realm and look for some on eBay or again some of these sites that are selling these for brand new. So. Yeah, and by the way, the sites that are selling these pens for brand new, they seem to be sticking to the retail price of $100, so that's awesome. And some of them are even trying to sell them for a little bit less. Now, I'm not gonna, I can't necessarily guarantee they're going to be brand new. They might be slightly used, I don't really know, but, you know, there's, they're still out there. You can still buy them. You're just going to have to do a little bit of searching, but it's not much. So, yeah, I definitely recommend it. And um, also make sure you check out the uh, company that made this pouch, because they seem to still be in business. And I do believe they still make these leather pouches. And I might link one in the description if I can find if I can find one. So definitely very nice pen, very nice combo. I like it, like it a lot. You can also have it like this, but uh, I find if I do it that way, it's actually harder to close. So yeah, I try to keep the pocket clip inside, and then it's easier to close. Very nice. So guys, let me get this back out of here. That's gonna go ahead and that's gonna do it for this particular video. Um, thank you so so very much for watching. And adios.